Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to enroll a personal Android device in Microsoft Intune using Intune Company Portal app. We can enroll a personal Android devices with Intune Company Portal to get secure access to company email, apps and data. Intune helps our organization to manage mobile devices and apps through security and device policies. For example, if your Android device is lost or stolen, you can sign in to the company portal app or company portal website on any other device and reset your phone to factory default settings. This feature is helpful if your missing device contains confidential work data that you don't want anyone else to access. In this video, we will enroll our personal Android device with Intune using Intune Company Portal app. Intune Company Portal supports devices running Android 8.0 and later. Let's see the end user process on how we can enroll our personal Android device with Microsoft Intune. In this demo, I'm using Android emulator created in Android Studio. In the first step, we will need to install the Intune Company Portal app on our Android device. Open Google Play Store. Search for Intune Company Portal app. We can see the app is Intune Company Portal and it is developed by Microsoft Corporation. Tap on Install to begin Intune Company Portal app installation on this device. Downloading is completed successfully. Now currently it is installing the app on our Android device. After successful installation, tap on Open to launch Intune Company Portal application. Tap on Allow for notification. Tap on Sign in. It will ask us to complete the authentication process. Enter the username, uh, which is user1 at msfsuratv3.onmicrosoft.com in our case. Click Next. Enter user password and click on Sign in. After authentication, we will reach on Access Setup page. We need to complete these three steps to enroll our Android device in Microsoft Intune. Click on Begin to start the enrollment process. Review the list of what your organization can and can't see on your device. Tap on Continue. Let's set up a work profile. For that, we need to tap on Accept and Continue. We can see the message Setting up our work profile. Let's tap on Next to continue. Step 1 is completed successfully. It has successfully created work profile on our device. Now, let's activate the work profile. Tap on Continue to do so. We can see the message, it is currently registering our device in Microsoft Intune. Next step, it is currently adding our device to Company Portal application. And the last one, finishing setting up our work profile. Perfect, all steps has been completed successfully. When setup is completed, tap on Done. Okay, it is telling us that there will be a separate apps for work or personal use. For personal use, you will have normal app and for work, you will have a symbol, lock symbol uh, besides the icon of that particular application. Okay, uh, let's tap on got it. Let me dismiss this. Under devices, we can see our device name. Uh, this is our device name. Let's uh, tap on our device name. Under device details, we can see the device original name, a device operating system, 
and device ownership type information. We can also see the device compliance status. Currently, our device is in compliance. If you want to sync with Intune for device compliance status, you just need to tap on check device settings. Here, we have the applications for personal use. As we can see, we don't have any lock icon on any of the application. Now here we have our work profile. If we tap on work, then here we have company portal application, contacts, files and play store. Let's tap on play store. From here, you can install the applications which are approved by your organization. At this moment, we haven't assigned any application and that's why here we can see the message no results found. So our device is now successfully enrolled in Intune and ready to access the corporate data securely on this device. Now let's go back to Microsoft Intune Admin Center to check whether that enrolled device is listed in our devices list or not. On home page, click on devices. As we know that you can access your Microsoft Intune Admin Center using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On overview page, here we have one Android device. To see that, under by platform, click on Android. Let's click on Android devices. Here we can see the name of our device. Okay, let's match the name on our Android device. Uh, let's open company portal app and here we can see the name is there user 1 android for work and the timestamp so we can confirm this is the same device which we have just enrolled to intune we can see it is managed by intune device ownership type is personal and currently device is in compliance state we are more interested in os os is android and here we can see the profile type. It is personally owned work profile. OS version is 13. And here we can see the information about the user who enrolled this Android device in Intune. In our case, it is a user one. So that's all for this video on how to enroll a personal Android device in Microsoft Intune using Intune Company Portal application. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.